Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, how Ino Morolong survived car crash. So Ino Morolong's 1.5 million rand car is wrecked, her expensive clothes are burnt to ashes but her designer body as well as cell phone are safe. Now apparently a good Samaritan came out of nowhere to save her life. Now according to the papers, Ino is quoted as saying the following, the car flew off the road and over a fence, the car was on fire, luckily I didn't burn. Now according to the reports, Ino was 30 minutes away from her home traveling from Johannesburg to Welcome Free State on Saturday the 7th of May when she served a car because of a pothole. Hey, these potholes man, I've had to replace two rims and two tires because of potholes. But moving right along, Ino said the following, I lost control of the car and it went off the side of the road. I heard a loud bang as the airbag went off. There was so much fire, I couldn't see anything. Everything was blurred. She goes on to say, a white lady helped me get out of the car. All my belongings were inside. My traveling bags and gifts from my family were all lost. My designer bags, clothes and shoes, it was all burnt to ashes. Now she says she only managed to grab her cell phone as the woman dragged her from the car. Lucky for her, there was a white woman who apparently seems to have been strong enough to pull her from that wreckage. But yeah, Ino was rushed to the hospital but she has since been discharged and she is recovering at home. On her recovery, she went on to say, My head took a big bang and my left eye is swollen. Both my hands are badly bruised. My mom is taking care of me. Now when it comes to the car, Ino said that her boyfriend would be buying her another car. Ino is quoted as saying my boyfriend got me the car but it's fine because my man said he would get me another one. I thank God for life. Yeah, definitely good to hear that she escaped that particular wreck with her life intact. And also good to hear that she's got a boyfriend who will buy her another car. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, when we are being honest, life is more important than material things. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, rumor has it that Mini Lamini cheated with Edwin Sordi. Look, I will say this, you know, when it comes to the news lately, a lot of it has been, you know, down to rumors, allegations and speculations. Now, I do get that's how most news comes about, but uh, sometimes I miss the what happened to videos and the top 10 videos. There wasn't too much rumors and speculations in those videos. But yeah, yesterday we talked about the rumor that Mini Lamini allegedly cheated on Quentin Jones, hence the reason for the divorce. Well, today, we are talking about the latest tweet from Musa Kawula who posted rumor has it Edwin Sodi and Mini Lamini kept their spark alight whilst Lamini Jones was married. It is also said that his private jet was put to good use entertaining Mini Lamini and her friends. Now as you can see this particular tweet has gotten a lot of likes and retweets and Edwin Sodi has been a trending topic since. So taking a look at some of the reactions on social media, one user wrote Edwin Sodi funding these Instagram hands luxury lifestyles with our taxes but the main topic here is Upfebe. Abo Kefipu, Mini, Michali have been touring Dubai and buying LV bags with state funds but only topic to come out here is Upfebe. We are going nowhere as a country. I will say this, I'm kind of curious exactly what topic should be coming out from all of this but uh, yeah, moving right along from Upfebe. Another user wrote, wait, why are people praising Edwin Sodi when the money he is using on these women is actually South African taxpayers' money? He was exposed by state capture at one point to have allegedly pocketed over 200 million. Another user wrote, Edwin Sodi watching Minnie's wedding like, let's put her on number two. <laughs> <laughs> Some humor over there. Another user wrote, once you are in a committed relationship, you are my type. Edwin Sodi, that's a, a quote there. Well, yeah, apparently the man does have a type. Another user wrote, I hate to admit this, but Edwin Sodi might be my new role model. The man is living his best life, Shem. Another user wrote, if Mini really cheated on Quentin with Sodi, I will be disappointed. South African men, we have to stand up against Edwin Sodi. He ruined Proverbs marriage and then went after DJ Spoo's baby mama. He doesn't want to see happy couples. His mission, Ogujabafazi Babantu, roughly translated, is to eat other people's women. Bloody abestos. 
Another user wrote, Edwin Sordi is the tenderpreneur who ruined DJ Spoo's relationship and Idol's presenter Proverbs marriage. Remember when Proverbs wife cried wanting to go with this guy to Dubai in front of her husband Go O Artambo. It was Sordi. Look, I will say this, you know what I'm getting from the tweets about Edwin Sodi is that this man will take your bay. Moving right along, here's another quote from Edwin Sodi. If you can't have them in bed, bring them to me. I'll show you how it's done. Another user wrote, so if it turns out that the story of Mini Lamini cheating on Jones with Edwin Sodi is true, are you guys going to apologize to Mac G after attacking him for what he said about the It Girls? Remember, Mini was one of the first people on Twitter to say he should be cancelled, which is a very interesting point that a lot of people have actually brought up. But yeah, talking about that It Girl moment from Mac G, a user posted the following video on social media and captioned it, this Mini and Quentin saga just reminded me of this video now edwin sordi is next mac g was so accurate let's play that clip for you guys real quick but that's the thing bro nobody in their right mind no would so ever future. marry no mm -hmm. would ever marry an it girl like no one in their right mind uh, i kid you not uh, bro why I kid you not what if you've why? changed what if you've just you yes you are used to be a it girl but now i just want to be a home it girls yeah. mm. will do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to secure the bag. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, in life, as a ninja, you might have money, but there's always someone with a bigger bag. Mm. So you'll never have the biggest bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So which Ooh. means your okay. it girl is always up for sale. Ooh. Even if they're, they're your wife and they're committed to yeah. you. You can't wife an it girl. You hit and run. That's it. <laughs> Look, Mac G said it. Mac G is definitely very raw when it comes to his podcast and the things that he said. But he said it. You know, when it comes to a, a it girl, you need to hit and run. You can't marry an it girl. And with the benefit of hindsight, I mean, we can all agree that Mac G was right. Mm. Tell me which it girl has had a successful marriage. I'll wait. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me which it girl, bro. And the thing so, is, like, mm. the, 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 the niggas that it these, the, these it girls marry, right? It's rich niggas that don't know about the industry. So if you're in the industry, ah, that everybody guy knows in the industry. what these it girls get up to in the industry, bro. No one in the industry is going to marry Mini Lamini because we all know what she's been up to. Nobody's going to marry Boy. We all know the shit she's been up to, bro. Uh, I kid you not. Uh, am I lying? Then you're going to apologize again. I don't know what Boy has been up to. I do. And you do too. Ha! I do! Oh! I do! You don't know the taboo night? Oh, I heard about yeah. that. I heard about that. Oh, I can't Zach. confirm that. Oh, what you think? Zach. 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 Compare them with American, like, girls, so. Oh, American women. Let's say your Beyonce's. Aren't they it girls? But oh, then they are. Man, those are superstars. <laughs> okay, so. There's a difference between an it girl and a superstar. A superstar actually has talent. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's so, interesting. So apparently there is a difference between an it girl and a superstar. One has talent, the other one is just it. I mean, I remember, I mean, remember Minnie was married and then uh, Terry, um, Henry, how do you say? Uh, Terry Henry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was in the yeah, country Arsenal, yeah, yeah. and she tweeted that, oh my God, this guy's in the country. It's a pity I'm married. Ha, ah, she said and that. And people are bringing that tweet up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah. So yeah, apparently even in the marriage, she was still wishing that she wasn't married so she could, I don't know, something with Terry Henry. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about that rumor that Mini Lamini cheated with Edwin Sodi. As well as let me know what you guys think about that whole it girl thing. You cannot marry an it girl. I want to marry an it girl just to prove people wrong. Heck, I believe I could make it happy. Our next topic, Edwin Sodi's alleged hit list of women. Look, we are on that train of allegations and rumors, so I thought, you know what, let's just keep it going. So Musa Kaula also posted Edwin Sodi's hit list. Number one, we've got Gifilwe Mabote. Number two, we've got Mini Lamini. Number three, we've got Jup Jup's girlfriend, Matsati Rampa. Number four, we've got Michalin Damase. Number five, we've got Karen Zulu. Number six, we've got Kat Kala. Number seven, 
Number seven, we've got Disebo Makata, DJ Spoo's X. Number eight, we've got Tuli Pongolo. Really? Number nine, we've got Olivia Stephan. Number ten, we've got Lizo Tabane. Number eleven, Sibabato Mutibi. And then dot dot and many more. Look, the many more obviously is up to speculation. I suppose you can put your comments and your guesses down in the comment section down below. But yeah, the man of the hour, Edwin Sodi's hit list right there on screen. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.